Hey up guys, the other day I was working out when something about the box cox transformation struck me. <laughs> Why isn't BC simply Y to the power lambda? What's with all the stuff tacked on? To answer that, we've got to know what it's meant to do. One thing we'd like it to do is to make a skewed distribution more symmetrical. To make a left skewed distribution more symmetrical, the left tail needs to be pushed to the right and the right tail needs to be pushed out to the right. And we can say more. The right tail needs to be pushed to the right a lot more than the left tail needs. It's easy to have a transform that acts on all values. Putting this together, we can say the transformation takes all Ys in one direction, i.e. it preserves order. The amount of shift is smallest in the longer tail and increases as we progress through to the shorter tail. For estimation purposes, we would like BC to be continuous over lambda. Okay, we got that. So now let's confirm that BC has these properties. This plot shows the BC when lambda is 1 over a range of Ys. There's a linear relationship between the old and new Ys. You can see it's not a 45 degree line, i.e. the Ys before and after BC are different. This is because the transformation subtracts 1 from the original Ys, so the new Y is less than the original one. The shape of the distribution though hasn't changed, so in a sense, lambda of 1 corresponds to no transformation. That's the story for transformation for lambda is 1. The shape of the distribution does not change, so this is a sensible benchmark. Let's add on the curve for when lambda is greater than 1, let's say 2. Now this curve lies on or above the benchmark. It shows that BC increases the values of Ys compared to when lambda is 1, except Y at 1. Transformation has stretched out the upper tail and pulled in the lower tail. As the curve is flattish for smaller Ys and gets more steep for increasing Y, this means the transformation has an increasing impact for increasing Ys. And this, guys, is super duper. The same story goes for n lambda greater than 1. And so BC with lambda greater than 1 makes a left and negatively skewed Y more symmetrical. Now let's do a similar thing and set lambda less than 1, say half. The story is opposite to what we've just seen. Now the entire curve is on or below the benchmark, so the Ys have been lowered. The effect of the transformation is to pull in the upper tail and stretch out the lower tail. As the curve is steeper for lower Ys, so it has a greater impact as Y gets smaller. As the curve is flattish for high values, this means that the power transformation will not be effective if the data is bunched up. Take home message is that lambda less than 1 makes a right of positively skewed distribution more symmetrical. Now back to the main story, why isn't it y to the power of lambda? Let's try it. The figure shows a plot of two values to the power lambda. The black line is 10 to lambda, red line is 3 to lambda. We can see that the order of the data 3 and 10 is reversed when lambda goes from negative to positive values. So this transformation does not preserve order. That's no good guys. So now we'll try scaling the first attempt by dividing by lambda. Now order is preserved but there's a discontinuity in the parameter space at 0. That's bad guys. Let's adjust the second attempt by subtracting 1 from each y to the power of lambda before scaling, i.e. we'll just do the BC transform. Now we see that both order of the data are preserved and there's no discontinuity in the parameter space. Hooray! If we set lambda to 0 and the BC transform, we get 0 divided by 0, which is what we call an indeterminate expression. Using L'Hopital's rule, we can show that this expression goes to log y. In summary, the formulation of BC is to shift the data values in one direction, more in the shorter tail, less in the longer tail, and to have nice continuity property for parameter estimation. Once you have estimated lambda, it's acceptable to use either y to the lambda or BC transform y's. y to the lambda is easier for interpretation, though we know it does not preserve order for y's less than 1, but it's not going to make huge much of difference if the proportion of y's is less than 1 is small.